Hey guys, welcome to Dit Dot. My name is Amanda, and as you can tell, I am not in my home kitchen. I am camping this weekend at Millersylvania State Park in Washington State. It is absolutely gorgeous here. Today, I am making pie iron calzones, or pie iron pizzas, however you want to call it. And I'll be using these really cool cast iron pie irons to make, hopefully, what is going to be a very tasty dinner tonight. But... First off, we are actually going to be making homemade from scratch pizza dough in the woods. So let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do for our dough is bloom our yeast. So I have some water heated up that I did use my camp stove, which you can see in the background to warm this up because we don't have our campfire started because we're gonna need time for our yeast, I mean, and our dough to rise. So I'm starting off <laughs> with actually a little sugar cube, which I forgot to pack sugar, but luckily I'm here with my friend Angela and she happened to have a sugar cube in her camp box. So we're gonna let it bar borrow that. You'll see kids running in and out of the shot. Totally cool, right? So I'm gonna start with one cup of warm water and I'm gonna try to break up this sugar cube as best I can. Oh good, it is. That dissolved up really nicely and that's to feed the yeast. I'm gonna actually touch this water, make sure it's not too hot. Yeah, you want it to be warm to the touch. If it's too hot, it'll kill the yeast. And I only have one of these packets. We have one shot at this, guys, so hopefully it works. If not, I guess we're having like hot dogs or something for dinner. So <laughs> I'm going to mix the packet of yeast in with my sugar cube and my warm water and just set this aside and let it bloom. So, I've got a big mixing bowl and I did prep up my uh, pizza mix. So this is two and a quarter to two and a half cups of flour. I like to put seasoning. So I put oregano and basil and some garlic powder. You don't have to use that. And then I also put in a couple teaspoons of salt. So I'm gonna pour that in my mixing bowl. And I washed my hands as well as I could. I went to the bathroom sink, tried to get them nice and clean because we will be handling the dough. But this is like day three of camp, so let's keep it real. I'm covered in sunscreen, bugs, bug spray, sweat, all the good stuff. So I'm gonna eyeball a couple glugs, as my daughter Izzy behind me calls it. <laughs> glugs of olive oil. I call it glugs, she says, mom, what is it? And then we're just gonna incorporate that olive oil in. I'm gonna go a little bit more. So I did actually also pack a separate bag of extra flour just in case I need to adjust and make my flour better and then maybe to help us roll out the dough later on. So I wanna get the olive oil nice incorporated where it mixes into the flour and then we're gonna give this yeast another minute or two and I'll be right back and we'll mix them together. While we're waiting for the yeast to bloom, some of the kids and Angela are playing croquet. Okay, so you can see the yeast is getting nice and frothy and bubbly. So we're gonna go ahead and add it to our flour. And I'm gonna start with my whisk and incorporate, and then eventually it'll get nice and thick and we will turn it out and start kneading it. This is an interesting whisk too. I'm not sure if I show, showed all this. <laughs> it's a ball whisk. It's what I have in my camping kit. One of my pro camping tips is that I have a camping kit so I don't have to raid my kitchen. This is just stuff that I keep in my in a big bin behind me and every summer I just have to kind of double check make sure nothing broke or needs to be replaced and then off we go okay so as it comes together as this big ball I'm going to go ahead and turn it out onto my cutting board and we will start kneading it by hand here's my bag of extra flour so I'm going to put some down on a large clean cooking cutting board and then we're going to work this dough 
on to, and then we're gonna knead it for, until it comes into a nice glossy bowl. It really depends on your humidity and air temperature. Also, I would love to point out that this is a very real video. We like to keep our campsite sort of organized, but by the third day, everything's a little bit chaotic behind me. So it is what it is, right? So as you can see, my dough is nice and soft. It's really crumbly, but I'm just gonna keep on kneading it until it comes together and forms a nice, hopefully glossy ball. We'll be right back. Okay, so it has been about 10 minutes I've been kneading it and the dough is now come together. It's nice and so soft. When you touch it, it does not stick to your hands at all and so that's when you know that your dough is ready to go so i'm going to lightly coat this in some olive oil i'm going to cover it up with foil and we will let it rest to rise out here in this heat it probably won't take long i'm guessing 30 40 minutes but we'll check on it and see how it goes so I'm just kind of spinning it around in this olive oil and then that helps it not get a hard film on the bread on the dough as it rises all right we'll be back oh gosh no that's not a good angle okay so it's been about 30 40 minutes my dough actually did not rise as much as i had hoped out here but we're at camp so we're just gonna go with it so yeah normally you could punch it down it did rise a little bit you can feel it's fluffier than it was but you know sometimes I don't know if it's just not warm enough up here. I, no, it's hot. I don't know why it didn't rise as much. I might have had my yeast too hot because normally I warm it up in the microwave and warming it up on the camp stove, I might have killed off some of the yeast. So I'm making three calzones. So I'm rolling this up into three size balls so I can know how much per. And then I'm gonna take some butter and liberally butter my pie irons because you don't want this dough to stick that would not be good so go crazy with the butter all right I'm not even gonna roll it out I'm kind of just gonna press it out so I will sort of kind of stretch it this dough is so nice and soft and what we're going to do is we're going to actually overlap the pie iron a little bit because as it seals down the edges will burn off which is okay but then you'll actually get a seal around your pocket your calzone and that will he help keep your stuffings in so I'm just going to stretch this across i'm going to do that to the other side and then we will give it some filling. Okay, so you see I pushed it down and it's over the edges. So all of this will actually burn off and we'll just pull it off at the end. But these are fairly deep. We're gonna get a lot of stuffing. Oh yeah, make sure there's no holes. So I'll fix that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and stuff them up. Okay, so for mine, I'm gonna use just this pizza mix of cheese. You wanna put it all on one side so that way you can pull it over and close it and your things don't go everywhere. So I'm gonna put some cheese down and then I've got pepperoni and some sweet peppers and mushrooms, whatever, some onion, whatever you like to put in your calzones, liberally stuff it. And then I'm gonna put pineapple in my kids, but for me, I'm just gonna add some ham to this too bought this pre-diced little ham cubes and I'm gonna add some more cheese to the top and then we'll close this thing up okay so I recommend that you get if you're gonna buy a pie iron I recommend that you get cast iron they also sell them as aluminum but the aluminum ones tend to burn dough faster so as you can see we got this kind of on and we can go ahead and pull off some of it and then let the rest of it you know burn off in the fire but that way it actually seals it up as a little pocket all right i'm gonna make up the rest of these and i'll meet you over at the fire 
Okay, so I have my heavy cast iron pie irons and I like to actually go ahead and lay them down on the grates. Oh no, I opened one. Okay, so they're gonna take about 15 minutes per, well, I'm gonna check them at 10 minutes per side. Cause I always, especially when camping, kind of go for the under because you don't wanna burn it. So these just clip down <clears throat> and then I'm gonna set my timer and we'll flip them, cook them for another 10 minutes and then we'll check on them and see how they look, all right? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so I started looking at it and you can kind of see that the dough on the outside is starting to look golden. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up and check it. It's been about actually six minutes per side. Oh, look at that guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one and I will check the other ones, but you gotta remember different spots on the fire are gonna be hotter than others. So they might cook at different rates. So I'm gonna pull this one and bring it over and then I'll check these. No. Okay, so I've got them off the fire and... Ooh, hot. We are going to carefully put it on a plate. So I made two ham and uh, pineapple ones and I made, I had extra dough, so I ended up making a ham and cheese one, and then I've got one that's like a supreme. So they sh if you put enough butter, it should pop right out. The first one popped out beautifully. And of course, I didn't label which these are, so I don't know which one's which. So we're gonna cut them open and we'll find out. Oh my gosh. And Angela, my friend Angela is cooking over there and she's making tacos for her family. Can I get this out? We will get creative. Oh my gosh, so it did stick to this side, obviously. Ah, there we go, perfect. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. And then I've got some marinara in little bowls that I'm serving these with. All right, let's cut it open and see which one this one is. Of course, mine's the supreme one. <clears throat> this one's had time to cool down a bit more. This is a ham and pineapple one. Yay, oh my goodness. All done. It, it came out so perfectly. I've had a lot of luck this camping trip with everything coming out delicious. I'm going to interrupt myself here and post some photos from some of the food that I made this weekend camping. Everything just came out so amazing. Follow me on Instagram where I go into more depth about these. And then I just got the marinara on the side. We'll give it a taste. Mmm, that was so good. Pizza win at camp. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. A couple upcoming scenes from next week's video. So I bought, I splurged and bought this little pre-done bacon packet today. Also, those hands are like really good. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, guys. This looks amazing.